Travis Cook. And I'm Jared Hatfield, and this is Tablet Tips. Today we're going to be discussing what laptop you should buy, and essentially what you really need, your minimum specifications. Now Speed School has some requirements placed on the tablet PC. They require Windows Vista, mm -hmm. a dual-core processor, and two gigabytes of RAM. Those are the big points that you have to get. Something that's not required, but we as students are highly, highly go do it right now recommend is get an active digitizer. The active digitizer, the sensitivity is greater. Now a lot of the new ones have the dual. You can get the that's active fine. and the touch. That's fine. It's just you need to have the pin that can hover over the screen. In fact, the number one way to pick which tablet you buy is to find someone who has one. Come to school, right school for your visit. There will be some everywhere. You've got to write right on the tablet before yeah. you buy it. Now if you can't, okay, but make sure you do your research. That's the biggest thing here. Do some research, watch tablet tips, check out some review sites, call Speed School. Lots of information for you. Now, when purchasing a tablet, there's typically two categories of computers in general. You have the business, and then you have the consumer slash entertainment. We should really get the business model. Not only because it's more designed for a professional, active, use everyday lifestyle, but because it's just generally a better machine. If you're like us, you're using your tablet in every single class, every single day. I'm on my computer 10 hours a day yeah, really. sometimes. You're using it very heavily. The, the business class tablets will hold up better. They have better performance. Uh, might not look like it, but they do. Yeah. And the, especially when you're looking at the HP line, the business have the active digitizers. The media tablets have the passive digitizers. Don't just buy the first computer you walk into Best Buy or... Yeah, don't do that, please. Do some research. Definitely. Another great point is that business class notebooks, you call tech support and you're an amazing person. You're not just another customer. Business tech support is years, especially with HP, beyond the rest. You will get your problem solved, no problem. So that's Windows Vista, 2 gigabytes of RAM, a dual core processor, and an active digitizer. Everything else is pretty much up to you. Thanks for watching Tablet Tips, but wait, those computer geeks who want to learn more, don't tune out yet. We're going to geek random. out. We're going to geek out. Yeah. Little. But if you don't want to see this... Um, yeah, t turn out right now if you don't know. Thanks for watching. Dual core. Okay. Dual, Dual core. core. Yeah, get it. It's standard now, so that should be a no-brainer. Get the Intel dual core. That's what the geek's going to tell you. Yeah, the uh, Conroe and above cores are so much better for a tablet. Not just because they're faster and they totally have to form everything else right now, but there's some compatibility issues. Not with to the bash the AMD, but there's I've, just in general, Intel laptop users tend to be a little happier. Yeah, especially, I know with Solid Edge, actually. There's an, Intel, there's an AMD bug out there right now that some of our... Students are just they're crashing all over the place. Other thing, when you're talking about graphics chipsets, you don't want to go too high of graphics. That can hurt your battery life. And burn your lap, scold you. You don't want to be too hot of a computer. Your Arrow does require the graphics card and all that, but almost any computer on the market is going to work. It'll it's going to work with run. anything on the market now. Another thing we need to mention, batteries. Get the graphics extra. cards will kill your battery, and a lot of things kill your battery. So Get the extra battery if yeah. you're a geek and... You don't want to be... I don't have the extra battery, and I cry at night because the, the of it. The outlet chases. I want it so badly. Get the extra battery, you'll be glad you did. Now, to sink even farther down the geek hole, we're going to mention Linux here a little bit. Linux, Unix, any distribution. Windows Vista is required. That's, not, I mean, not an optional. It is required. But there's always a good friend dual boot. Or, in my case, I really don't full boot. I do virtual PCs. Virtual when machines, I need. the technology there is, you should know as a geek still watching this, is way up there. Parallels. Um, I use uh, VirtualBox. VirtualBox. A lot of great. Some are free, some are A lot of great software. So if you're one of those people that just are interested in Linux, or you only use Linux, dual boot. Can't mention that enough. You have to dual boot. Don't wipe your copy of Vista the first day you get your tablet and come to school and have to install Dino. Yeah, you'll be lost and you won't know what's going on. But if you're interested in Linux, um, contact us through our website. We're actually working on some uh, compatibility things with Linux. Linux does have options with it, but it doesn't necessarily you have... have you uh, might have compatibility with your tablet, and it just might not be compatible with your professor. Yeah, you have to have Windows Vista. We're sorry, no option. The, uh, the other geeking out option, 2 gigabytes of RAM, you might go, wait, I want to buy 1 gig and it's cheaper. Well, my computer came with a gig and I upgraded it to 2. 
as you well know, RAM is so much cheaper from online retailers. That's cool. Buy it with 256 megabyte of RAM. Buy it with 512 as if it's a deal. Just buy the 2 gigs and put it in it. Get that much RAM. Don't think you can get by without it. When you're running OneNote, Firefox, Maple, Dino, and uh, I use Zoom software, you you need 2 gigabytes of RAM. You're going to end up doing it. Speed school will make you reevaluate your policy of only one program at a time. Yes, most definitely. You cannot take notes and not multitask, at least a little. But we've geeked out. I think that's... Now that the normal users that didn't tune out regret not tuning out, I'm going to wrap up Tablet Tips here. Thanks for watching. and See you next time.